What's going on everyone? My name is Liam DeBoer. I'm here with ET Transport and today we're going to take a look at the five most common Kenworth trucks on the road today. Over the course of this video, we'll dive into the W900, T600, T6600, T800, and T2000 models, while also taking a peek at some details about the new Kenworth Electric Semi. If you want to keep up to date with the world of trucking, don't forget to hit subscribe and let's get into it. Kenworth Truck Company is an American truck manufacturer that was founded in 1923 and has been under the Packar umbrella since the company purchased Kenworth in 1946. The company is best known for its heavy duty Class 8 trucks, as well as its medium duty Class 5 to 7 commercial vehicles. Throughout their history, Kenworth has played a large part in pushing the innovation of the trucking industry forward. For instance, they introduced the world to both raised roof sleeper cabs and aerodynamically optimized body designs. There is no truck Kenworth is better known for than the W900. This model does not just stand up to the test of time in the trucking industry, but the automotive industry as a whole. The W900 has been in production continuously since 1961, serving as one of the longest production runs in automotive history. This W900 served as a replacement for the 900 series conventional and was produced with the intention of being primarily for highway use. At its introduction, the W900 was introduced alongside the K100 with the W and K in their model designations, paying homage to the two original founders of the company, Edgar Worthington and Harry Kent. A big factor in the success of this model line was the fact that it marked the beginning of the truck customization, with owners having the ability to add additional chrome trim, wheels, lighting, and paint. Over the past 60 years, Kenworth has produced three basic versions of the W900 model family. These models were the Narrow Hood W900, which was in production from 1961 to 1966, the W900A, which was produced from 1967 to 1982, and the W900B, which has been in constant production ever since 1982. However, the company later dropped the B designation. Kenworth saw the W900 as a replacement for their 900 series, which brought about several major design changes. For instance, the cab was completely redesigned by raising the height of both the cab roof and windows, while also mounting the two windshield planes together. The radiator was also slightly widened in order to allow for a better engine cooling. The four trucks yet to be covered all belong to a more recent model line, the T-Series, which was in production from 1984 to 2007. The first on that list is the T600, typically sold in a semi-tractor configuration and can be distinguished by its aerodynamic sloped hood. This truck shares designs with the previously mentioned W900, but what sets it apart from its counterpart is the setback front axle, hood, and lower bodywork, which actually was implemented into a later version of the W900, the W900L. The T600 began life as a response to the 1973 oil crisis, which affected both gasoline and diesel prices. By the time 1976 rolled around, Kenworth had already spent some time playing with aerodynamic devices in past models, such as roof fairings. But the T600 was the first American semi-tractor designed from the ground up with aerodynamics and fuel economy in mind. Thus, designs started being drawn with one goal in mind, reduce drag. Due to the length restrictions at the time, truck development originally began on a cab over tractor, similar to the Kenworth K100. However, in 1980, there were changes made to the length regulations which allowed the company to model the conceptualization of the W900, which greatly reduced the frontal area. During testing of prototypes at the Packard Technical Center, the design of the T600 proved to be over 20% more fuel efficient than the W900 with a comparable powertrain. Once the T600 began highway testing, Kenworth realized that with an identical payload as a standard body conventional, the lower drag of a T600 meant they could install an engine with roughly 100 less horsepower, again furthering the already increased fuel economy. By the end of 1985, the T600 was accounting for 40% of Kenworth sales and wasn't taken out of production until its successor, the T660, was launched in 2008. The T660 made use of the aero cab sleeper, but in a major shift, the T660 was the first to adopt diesel engines produced by their parent company, Packard. In another big change, for the first time since 1990, the aerodynamics of the hood and fenders were updated, as the T660 introduced composite headlights fared into the fenders with adopting a grille similar to the T2000, which we'll cover in this video as well. Now, new headlamps may not sound all that exciting, but this change in design allowed for 44% more light output when measured against a conventional sealed beam lights. As a shock to many, Kenworth engineers managed to increase grill size compared to the T600 and the T2000 while also reducing drag. The T660 was later discontinued in 2016, being replaced by the T680. 
Next up is the T800, which has been in production since 1987. Kenworth designed this truck with the goal of creating the ultimate workhorse. Whether it's running freight coast to coast or hauling gravel out of a quarry, the single base chassis is to thank for the built to take it tough nature of the T800. Kenworth built the truck with a front frame extension which makes it perfect for snowplows, municipal dump trucks, mixers, refuse trucks, and crane trucks, all of which require front engine power takeoff, which comes factory installed in order to avoid aftermarket retrofit problems. Also, the 1,440 square inch radiator includes a modified bottom tank which allows for PTO shaft clearance, while the front frame extension also provides space for front mounted equipment like hydraulic ramps or hose reels. The T800 also offered a bigger payload with its 48 and a half inch setback front axle enabling you to transfer more of the vehicle's weight to the front end. This heavy duty truck also incorporates advanced steering geometry that produces maximum weight cut while allowing for a tight turning circle even with flotation type tires and front drive axle configurations. Last but very much not least in regards to our five most common trucks, the T2000 which was first brought to market in 1997. This truck is mainly used in the cargo hauling business and Kenworth designed this model with the truck's driver's need in mind. Much like the 70s, the 90s proved to be a time for turbulent fuel prices. This led Kenworth to once again take on the task of reducing aerodynamic drag, therefore increasing fuel economy. The design was also geared towards reducing maintenance cost by making components easier to access for repair. The T2000 was fitted with either a 13 or 15 liter displacement while being capable of producing up to 600 horsepower. Seeing as all the trucks listed above are the Kenworth trucks you've been accustomed to seeing on the road, we figured we'd take a quick peek at the models you'll likely see more of. Kenworth entered the electric over-the-road truck market by debuting the production-ready T680E semi-truck at the Packard CES display in Las Vegas. This Kenworth is ready to work with 670 horsepower and a battery range of 150 miles. For comparison, the standard Kenworth T680 is powered by an enormous, thoroughly modern 12.9 liter turbocharged inline six cylinders MX-13 diesel, and his peak performance is merely 405 horsepower. That's a full 265 horsepower fewer than their new electric model. The T680E also outperforms the diesel version in torque. The MX-13 offers 1150 pounds in standard trim compared to 1603 which the T680 can provide at zero RPM. A big part of the power and torque is on tap courtesy of Meritor's 14XE e-powertrain, which integrates motors and axles into a single unit. Kenworth management seemed quite proud of their developments in the sustainable trucking realm. Kenworth manager and Packard vice president, Kevin Bainey said, quote, Kenworth is leading the way in zero emission solutions. The Kenworth T680E builds upon Kenworth's excellent heritage of providing fleets and truck operators with outstanding and productive trucks driven by quality, innovation, and technology. Well, that's all for me, folks. We'd love to hear what you think. What's your favorite Kenworth? Let us know in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with new content, and we'll see you next time.